The Mystere 2C flies out for France in War Thunder. Let's check it out. In the aftermath of World War II, France was anxious to get a modern aviation industry up and running. They invested hard in the development of jet technology and produced the MD-450 Oregon, which ended up being highly successful. Dassault's follow-up was the MD-452 Mystere. This was a natural evolution from the Oregon, with swept wings, refined aerodynamics, and a better engine. The Mystere went through a number of small design iterations during its development and testing period, with the Mystere 1 being basically just a modified Oregon, but the Mystere 2 used lessons from the Mystere 1 prototypes and incorporated some major changes. The Mystere 2A was capable of breaking Mach 1 in a dive and generally had much better handling than the first version of the plane. The Mystere 2B was basically the same as the A model, but they changed the armaments and the gun sight. Only a few more were built, and that led to the development of the Mystere 2C. The C model was the main production version of the plane, and it started regular service with the French Air Force in 1954. It swapped out the set of four 20mm M50 cannons that were on earlier French jets for a pair of 30mm DEFAs with significantly better performance, as well as incorporating a lot of smaller improvements in its electronic systems and maintenance cycle. Overall, the Mystere 2 ended up being a relatively minor contribution to the larger history of French aviation, serving as an evolutionary step, and only about 170 of them were built. It never saw any combat, despite the earlier Oregon and its successor, the Mystere 4, both seeing extensive combat all over the world. The Mystere 2 was eventually used mostly as a conversion trainer, and it was finally retired in 1963. There are several versions of the Mystere in War Thunder, but what we're looking at today is specifically the Mystere 2C. It's currently folded under the Mystere 2A, and as a result of this, it's actually a fairly uncommon plane that you don't see very often these days. It's in rank 5 at battle rating 8.3. In this review, I'm specifically covering the C model, but the A model is very similar, with its weapons being the primary difference. Now, speaking of weapons, the Mystere 2C's primary armament is a pair of 30mm DEFA cannons with 300 rounds of ammo. These are quite powerful in this BR range, have a very flat ballistics trajectory with a good muzzle velocity and a respectable rate of fire. The 30mm DEFAs really are some of the best conventional guns in the game, and using these is completely different than the M50s in earlier French jets, so you might want to practice up a bit. For ammo belts, you get some basic options, but really, just take the air targets belt. The explosive rounds are very effective against basically anything that flies. For external weapons, you get two wing pylons that can carry a pair of bombs or a pair of rocket pods. Nothing super exciting here, but you've got some multi-role capability, and taking the bombs can help finish grinding upgrades for the plane. Both the bombs and the rocket pods are completely viable for close air support and ground battles. Just remember that this is a fighter, not a strike jet, and your quantity is limited. In terms of flight performance, the Mystere 2C is an interesting bird. The plane feels slightly underpowered much of the time, and its acceleration isn't great compared to a lot of other jets it faces. Its top end speed is pretty average, and it'll max out at about a thousand kilometers an hour at low altitudes, but with its lackluster acceleration, it may take a while to get there. Now, there is some good news though. The climb rate is reasonably decent once you get up over 600 kilometers an hour or so, and at high speeds, it's at least as maneuverable as anything it goes up against in a dogfight. Its rate of roll is noticeably better than most other subsonic jets, and importantly, it's very stable in a turn, with a very tight rudder response, which makes aiming the cannons significantly easier than it would be in a lot of other subsonic gunslingers. Now, like most of the other jets that it faces, energy retention can be an issue in a turn fight, but there's a quirk with the Mystere 2 
where its energy loss in vertical maneuvers seems to be much less pronounced than in horizontal maneuvers. It's hard to explain, but if you fly something else for a bit, then you switch to the Mystere, you'll probably notice it. It feels like you've got a good solid second pulling into a vertical maneuver, before your energy starts dumping off in any serious amount. And despite not having a lot of engine power, the plane actually does surprisingly well in loop fights and elements, but sometimes not as well in horizontal two-circle fights. As usual with subsonic jets in this class, boom and zoom tactics are often the best way to go, and anything that keeps your energy up is usually a good move. Also notable, the plane has an effective air brake that can help prevent overshoot if you need it. Flying out into air battles with the Mystere 2C is pretty typical for first generation gunslinger jet gameplay. If you start out the match with an initial side climb, you can often use the jet's pretty good rate of climb to get in a position for some decent boom and zoom tactics. But in the current meta, you're frequently going to get up tiered into supersonic jets with afterburners, and it will frequently be up against air to air missiles. Add to this that the subpar acceleration means that pretty often, most of your team is going to beat you into the fight, and if you climb up to do vulture stuff, there may simply not be a lot of targets for you by the time that you get positioned well. I've had some good results using the Mystere with Boom and Zoom Vulture tactics, but just remember that it's going to be a slow paced battle, and a lot of your time is going to be spent flying between engagements and waiting for altitude. If you prefer a little bit more direct action, or if you get it down tier, you can have good results throwing this jet into furballs and close-end dogfighting, with a couple of caveats. Keep the crappy horizontal energy retention in mind, and I know this sounds obvious, but don't miss your shots. The guns on this thing hit really hard, and they tend to be pretty accurate, but they've got a strong rate of fire, so if your normal playstyle is a little bit more prey and spray, you're probably going to run out of ammo a lot faster than you might expect. It's worth the time to practice aiming the cannons and deflection shots, and while I'm certainly not some sniper with them, my best matches personally usually involve a lot of trigger discipline with this jet. Now, in terms of ground attack, you only get two wing pylons, but you can fly out with a couple of bombs and hit a base before you go in for air combat. If you fly out into close air support, both the bombs and the rocket pods are perfectly capable weapons, but without any kind of ballistics computer, you're aiming with instinct, and the quantity of weapons is pretty low, so just don't expect a lot of ground kills per flyout. Visually, this jet looks like a fairly standard early 50s jet fighter. That said, I like it quite a bit. You get two different skins to choose from, with my personal preference being the white prototype paint job. The visual detail is pretty good overall, and generally this isn't a bad plane to look at. Landing the Mystere is pretty typical, just keep the poor low speed acceleration in mind, and think about 2 or 3 seconds ahead with the throttle. You can throw out the gear a little under 450 km an hour, and landing flaps at about the same speed. No drag chute though, so expect a, a pretty long landing run. The cockpit in this jet is actually really good. The visibility in all directions is excellent, the instruments are set up well, and the visual detail inside the cockpit is extremely well done. I really enjoy flying this one in VR. A+. To close out on the MD-452 Mystere 2C. This jet has very strong guns for its BR, a pretty good rate of climb, and decent maneuverability at medium to high speeds. However, it's a little underpowered, it bleeds energy pretty bad in horizontal maneuvers, and it only has two external weapon hardpoints. The final verdict on the MD-452 2C is that this jet feels like a really average subsonic gunslinger, with the only major standout feature being its excellent set of cannons. Still, it's not bad, and you can get good results with it if you manage its energy and learn to aim these guns. As always, 
Thanks for watching.